guys. Today, I have made Napa cabbage and egg stir fry. It is so unbelievably good. Napa cabbage, egg, few vegetables, throw it in your wok. Oh my gosh, you have an entire meal for your family that they are going to love. If you want to see how to make it, stay tuned because I'm about to show you how. Ha ha ha! You don't want to miss this, I promise. For additional drying, I'm gonna take my cabbage and I'm gonna spread it out over some nice, fresh, dry paper towel so that it can continue to dry. Now, this is just something I do. You definitely don't have to do it. Um, if you have a salad spinner and you use it, and you use the salad spinner, that it's, I'm almost positive it's gonna be fine. But see, mine still, there's still a teeny bit of dampness there. So just while I'm chopping my other vegetables, I'm gonna allow my cabbage to sit here and continue to drain while I chop my other veggies. I'm first going to add some sesame oil to the bottom of my wok. Okay, I'm gonna roll this around a bit, make sure it gets nice and coated. And then I'm going to toss in my onion. I'm gonna add some salt to that. Full of carrots there. Shredded carrots. And I bought these carrots already shredded in the, the little packets in the produce section. So convenient. Once our onions and uh, carrots have begun to soften, I'm then going to add my garlic. I don't want it to burn. So I add it just before I get ready to add my cabbage. Okay. That's looking good. Now it's time to add our cabbage. We have our beautifully shredded Napa cabbage here that I'm just going to toss in just like so. And I'm going to add some more salt. I'm going to add pepper. And I'm going to begin to stir this. Here is where I'm gonna throw in a splash of soy sauce. That's the good stuff right here. That's the good stuff. 
Remember, you don't want to put too much soy sauce in there because soy sauce is really salty and we have already salted our onions and our cabbage once we put it in. So just make sure you don't overdo it. And you see our cabbage is beginning to wilt down. Add a little bit more sesame oil to the pan. Just a little bit. Okay, our egg is good. Now let's go ahead and continue to mix our cabbage on again with that egg. And you can definitely add more egg. I don't like that much egg, but um, actually for this recipe, for those of you who are egg lovers, you may want to add, I would recommend adding two eggs if you're an egg lover. I'm not an egg lover. I can eat egg. It's good uh, sometimes, but I cannot eat an abundance of eggs. And there we have it. Our Napa cabbage and egg stir fry is ready. Okay guys, I've got my Napa cabbage and egg stir fry right here. It smells so good. It was so quick and so easy to make. So I'm getting ready to taste it now. You see that? Mm, it smells so delicious. This smells absolutely amazing. Mmm, mmm. Oh yes, yes, yes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So quick and easy. Mm. Mm. Actually, this is good with or without the egg. Mm, mm, mm. I love Napa cabbage. The leaves are so soft. It's like the perfect texture with the onions and then the fresh green onions on top. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this one's good. This one's really good. All right, friends, thanks for joining me for another episode of Sincerely Legenia. I hope you get an opportunity to try this Napa cabbage and egg stir fry. It is so good, it is so quick, and it is unbelievably easy. It is just unbelievable how easy this meal is. If you like this video and you want to see more videos just like it, don't forget to hit that subscription button right below. And if you like this video, leave a comment. Let me know you were here. I would love to hear from you. Well, guys, I will talk to you again in the next video. Until then, have a blessed and prosperous week. I will see you next time right here on Sincerely Legenia. Bye.